is sounding. The alarm is ringing. The bells are ringing. Jesus is coming again. He cometh with his reward to give unto every man according to their works. Ladies and gentlemen, he will judge all of us. The books will be opened. And according to all that is written concerning me and you, he will judge us. Yes! Mwamu free mo boyfriends fi eba no pay. Mwamu ne mo girls in na apa. Munda he will judge you. I'm telling you. We know about ten years, seven years. Unya ne huwa dia. God will judge you. I make company for the hour. I will say this alone. God will judge you. Yeah. We know about we kono sa e yengwa si ebu abra wongwa re no. God will judge that. All right, our foundation scripture is John the 12th chapter, the 20th and 21st verses. John chapter 12, verses number 20 and 21. I'm going to read you John the 12th chapter, the 20th and 21st verses. The Bible said there were seven Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same therefore came to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we want to see Jesus. The same therefore came to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we want to see Jesus. As a man can go, ye may memu na kwa ba machino na me kaimu see ye free your honey in sempa itra ye do me no ye mwa ye a tio no near to back when sempa and said you honey I tread the abre in itra the ye uh you know do me no ye mwa ye a tio no near to no back co a tiffin to you know and said and quite if you will most he la fubi on one will buy fashion as him so by the sorry one will bear Philip will free beside the worker Lee and in chain will be catching and say over a person who knows yes one will bear Philip will free beside the worker Lee and in chain will be catching and say over a person you know yes so having read you that I want to go further and read you look the 21st chapter the 34 to the 36 verses but you know whilst I was reading John chapter 12 is something that really came to mind it this really tells me how uh, vociferously we have been able to drift away uh, very far away from the real essence of Christianity isn't it amazing it's so amazing now, people come to church for so many reasons they come to church for so so many reasons I thought that the house of God was a house of prayer. We have turned it into so many things. The house of God now have become like a place of exploitation. The house of God now has become a place of promiscuity. The house of God is gradually increasingly becoming a place of contention. The house of God increasingly is becoming a place where the other minister is going to reply. The other one, he had a trouble and a, a fracas and a tension and a contention with. The house of God is increasingly becoming a place of conflict. It is becoming gradually a place of division. They came to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, We want to see Jesus. We, we really want to see Jesus. Lord is on the bed. We, we seriously want to. I, I, I come not to, you know, make, see a friend and see a kabastai and see somebody who said he is going to help me with money. You know, we, we come not because of welfare. Yeah, we are not here because the pastor said he's going to help you. Don't forget the number one, the prime reason why we are here. The house of God is not a place for, uh, you know, Susu and, uh, uh, what, what do they call it? You know, Scania, uh, Mubiska, loan. What does it mean? What, 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 the real? Credit union. The house of God is not for credit union. It is not for Achimota alumni, Abyssal boys or girls or infants of mine or, you know, uh, criminal students. It is not for that. 
The house of God is not for that. The house of God is not for Achimfoku, Kwofoku, you know, uh, Krobofuku. The house of God is not for that. The, sir, we want to see Jesus. This is the prime, prime. This is our game. Our game is all about Jesus. The people will sing because of the Christ. The people will chirograph because of the Christos. The people are going to lift holy hands unto the Lord. Not unto human beings. Not even unto themselves. I want to see Jesus. He is the epicenter of everything. The, the, the main follicle. And every fiber of the being of the ecclesia. The church of Jesus Christ. He is. I come not because of Kofi Odro. In other words, if Kofi Odro does not preach in this place anymore, that he is not the reason why I come. You know, people are going to say amen to that very easily. But in practicality, actually, actually, they are here because of Kofi Odro. I am trying to redirect your focus and your drive away from the man. The man can dress nicely, but the day is coming, the undertaker will not fit him with a suit. I have thought about it. You know, all the, you know, uh, uh, costume and outfits that they put on corpses. Actually, they go and buy a nice dress. I remember one of our pastors, you know, who passed on many years ago. He was preaching in the bus. The bus had an accident. He passed on. And, you know, uh, I, I imported a suit. I, I determined now I'm not buying it in this country. So I imported the suit. Brilliant suit. And I gave it to the brother. He told me, he said, wow, look, we are going to cut this up. And I said, cut it up for what? said we are going to cut it up i said cut it up for what he said because we can't put it in on him like that we need to cut it out he said there is no corpse that actually wears a costume actually it is just yeah yeah yeah, actually, I'm fine because why you They can't do that. So actually, they cut the suit which I imported into this country. They cut it out into pieces. The undertaker on that day will never be able to fit the suit as I'm wearing this morning. It can never fit. When would you know hey, when would they buy the Bible bow anymore and your complexion? Yeah. Let's say that you are number 52 or you are number 48, you know, in the makeup cost, you know, or the cosmetology, you know, and uh, they will use a 74 on you. We may see BD, BD. And yet you cannot wake up to say anything. So, when I come in here, I don't come to hear theological theses and theorems. I am not here to be hearing a poetic preacher. I am not here to be hearing some kind of oratorical funners. Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse number 1, he was building up and said, you know, unto the Corinthian church, he said unto them, you know, the same, he said, brethren, when I came unto you, I came not in the excellency of speech or in the wisdom declaring unto you the testimony of God. The Bible said very clearly I determined not to know anything about you except Jesus. Except Jesus. I determined not to know anything except Jesus. I, I wanted to reduce the high spirit. I, you know, except Jesus. And him crucified. In other words, Paul said that even in his, uh, Paul was a very, a very uh, you know, a linguistical preacher. He had the power of presentation. He, he did a very good work. He did a very phenomenal work. In other words, the people would love to sit down and listen to Apostle Paul. But he was saying in this particular presentation, when I came to you, I did not determine to know anybody. In other words, I am not there to know the rich people to know the you know the people that are driving the opulent cars the people 
Because church increasingly now is becoming like uh, the people that are rich and famous are given preferential treatment over the people that are poor and vulnerable. Oh yeah, in the house of God. If you are looking for one place where there is big time discrimination, it's in the house of God. You may be seated in the presence of God. Let us work. Big time discrimination is in the house of God. When they finish, they tell you black lives matter. Black lives matter. People leave the Americans to do what they are doing. Black lives. If it matters, it matters everywhere. Black lives will matter for the Takra, the girls. Yeah, black lives will matter. Yet, you know, for everybody that have been missing and dead, you know, died in this country who has not gotten justice. Black lives will matter for all of them. I'm telling you, black lives. It must matter. Yeah. For the people who died, from the people who died on the 28th February road until today. Black lives! Then will have to matter for everybody. So I'm using this opportunity this morning to tell everybody <laughs> I determined not to know anybody. Put it back to this word. I determined not to know anybody or anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Look at the third verse. It said, my presentation I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. Yeah, my presentation or preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the Holy Spirit spirit and of power. In other words the preaching of God's word must be inculcated or must be infused. It must be you know overshadowed with the anointing of the spirit of God. It's got to do with power. Power. I'm not talking about this kind of euphoria and feeling ovation. No. I'm talking about the power of God. When the power of God is in somewhere, everybody can be able to feel it. But some grand him say, yami to me, yeah, juma, say, yami to me, yeah, juma. Yeah. O bia, o num posu, o ye chin, ye chip fono, o chin, ye chin, o timi, o nu say, yami to me, and a ye juma. It is not manipulation. It is not seduction. It is not, you know, all the gimmicks and tricks that have crept into the house of God. It is not that. It is not sticker. It is not oil. It is not any of that. We are not saying it is not good. But the moment that we use these things to manipulate, there is a big problem. It is not any of that. I determine not to know anybody except Jesus Christ. In other words, I do not even determine to know the choir, the preacher. I do not determine to know the prophecies, the miracles except Jesus Christ. Except Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. The songs must be about him. The preaching will have to be about him. It is so sad that now your people write songs and he is not in the song. They are writing songs and Yesu is not in the song. Very interesting. I mean, they could have said, Nanyame, Odemiave, Krumu, Ibida Suguho. What about them? Can they relate to your song? If the gospel cannot be preached everywhere at the same time, it is not the gospel. The gospel in Somalia must be the gospel in America. The gospel in Ghana must be the gospel in South Africa. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. That everybody who believes in him will not perish but come into eternal salvation. Yeah. They, they will have to see and hear the gospel everywhere. If I cannot tell, uh, you know, uh, the people in America and the people in the United Kingdom, some of the things that we have brought into our gospel, the Lord will give you a visa, you will travel, your traveling breakthrough will come. What about the people in America? Can you preach that same thing to them? Think about it. Or travel to him. Go from and I say, in Shiaeso. Where is he traveling to? The gospel must be the gospel everywhere. A dear beer may cast so much. A dear beer will mean cannibal. You know, it, it, it's not the gospel. If I say it here, it must apply everywhere. And that is what the Bible does. And that is what the scriptures are all about. Yeah. And, and we need to come to that particular place. So, when we come to church every Sunday, 
One of the things that everybody will have to come to a realization. Help me on the thing. Refinement. One of the things that we will all will have to come to an understanding is ex self-examination. Like what Paul was talking about in, you know, the book of Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse number 5 to 6. He was talking about something very profound. He said, when you get that, everybody examine yourselves whether you are still in the faith. On Sunday morning when you come to sit in the house of God and you say you are born again Christian filled with the Holy Spirit. The hand of God, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is upon you. Your name is written in the book of life. Still, you will have to sit down and examine yourself whether you are still in the faith. Yeah, he said, know ye not you in yourself how that Jesus Christ is in you. Jesus is in you except that you are reprobate. As a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, the church in this end time has a lot of reprobates. And when we say reprobates, turn it in different version. Let's see exactly how the Bible describes the word reprobate. Yeah, you know, except you have completely failed. Turn into a different version. Let us work. Yeah, in this version, in this other version, he said, uh, except you have failed to test of genuine faith. In this other version, look at how he puts it. Uh, unless, of course, you have failed the test. Fail the test. Many, many mentionings of that. Examine yourself. After all the, you know, the uh, uh, baseless, uh, ungodly music, yeah, and godless speeches we make and interactions we make in course of the whole week when we gather in the house of God we need to assess analytically sit down critically assess ourselves whether we have drifted or we are still in the path examine yourself it was exactly what Psalm 26 verse number 2 was talking about the, the Psalm the 26 chapter the second verse look at what the Bible says in Psalm 26 and verse 2 the Bible says examine me the same word examination self examination critical analytical examination examine me rather some here some come here me person was some here me person would the was some can you know would it to me yeah kind of i mean but sometimes when i think of our reaction I remember many years ago uh the, the preacher was going to church and in the traffic light and somebody crossed him and then he rolled his glass and insulted with capricious or acrimonious statement to that person and then he, they all drove off the person drove off with speed and then the preacher followed it was a sunday morning now the preacher got to the car park and the car that he insulted was parked at the car park and i'm talking about the church the church's car park the the the, the guy had heard of the preacher on radio and on television yeah and then he is with joy coming to the church and to receive the grace of God and the word of the Lord now the preacher doesn't know whether to come in or not and the guy made sure that he came and took a front seat and the preacher came and took the microphone and said today is a wonderful day and then you know instantly the message had changed and the message is that we are all human beings uh, can you imagine Kufidro coming here to preach that nonsense the grace of God the grace of God will overshadow all that our frailties his strength will be made perfect in all our weaknesses because from all this time from all this time this morning I would like to announce that we are celebrating Thanksgiving with our third prophetic uh, end time 
uh, College of Ministry graduates and ordinance. We are celebrating with them this morning. They were ordained, graduated and ordained yesterday. It was a very lovely and awesome moment. We give God the glory for their lives. But the thing is this, I, I mentioned you to go and say something. And what I would like to say is this. Tears here, especially for the young men in and the young ladies who are uh, sprinters and uh, uh, bachelors, people who are not yet married. You have, a, you have a bigger temptation for an integral life. Oh yeah, for an integral life. Examine yourself whether you are still in the faith. Examine. We may be doing things and it pleases us, but the question is, is God pleased? It is God please. What will the Lord say concerning you? Look at how the book of Job in uh, chapter 2 says some few things concerning Job. Job chapter 2 from verse number 1. Let us examine that particular scripture. Yeah. The Bible said again, yeah, again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Bible said, and the Lord said to Satan, from whence comest thou? Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro the earth and from walking up and down in it. In verse number three, the Bible said, and the Lord said unto Satan, how thou considered my servant Job that there is nobody like him on earth? There is, there is none like him on earth. A perfect and an upright man. One that feared God and extrueth evil, and he, he and and still he holded fast his integrity. Still, Okuranimudim. Me pase me bisi wasam. If God is speaking concerning you this morning, what will be the words that He will use for you? Jesus was talking about John the Baptist and made some very profound, remarkable statements concerning him. He said concerning John the Baptist, among men that are born of women, there is nobody like John. Can you imagine that? Jesus had just placed John over Moses, over Elijah, all these patriarchs. Can you imagine that? But the least in the kingdom of God is greater than John. So I will want to do one dance here, no? But the other dance here will be the other. Mudi amomi amfi ya ninto from Ghana ha. So when you make a piece of my kuma kunuwe di one dance here. A dance am. Then you who have a car for home, from preachers to politicians to church members to citizens. What will he say concerning all of us individually? Can you just imagine that the Lord Jesus came into this building and put cathedral on the screen and then you are going to see everything about cathedral on the screen. Yeah. What he does on the road, what he does, what you don't see and all that. Yeah. I'm telling you. You'll be amazed to say, ah, troubles we are You'll be shocked. And none of pay if I simply be said, would do what because I have thought about it many. Everybody should be able to understand the rudimental stuff which we talk to you about every day. It doesn't matter how fine, refined, sweet, loving you are, you are dust. As a matter of fact, <laughs> you have polished your face, it is just like putting makeup on dust. You go into the shop and buy nice makeup from all the brands. L'Oreal Sleek, you know, it's the Lauda, Mac, uh, Mary Kay, all that. And then, we better say, I for the dot here. We better say, I for the dot here. We better say, I for the dot here. And we better say, I for the dot here. And we better say, I for the dot here. And no pay. Me wanna see a tutu perfume, a good dot here home. Oh, I'm talking to you. Tell somebody you pa. Yeah. Me wanna set dot here to not care. Munu abe parke. Yeah. Me wanna set dot here the face mask a butu ne penano. Dot here. Ash a face shield. Misha hairstyle. I'll go to now home here. Yeah, The number of hours I had the year three in the mouth. Dot here pa. Hate ho. Now you bun it to two hours. 
dotia wezi ya wadete koko ya wadete vita ya wadete tuntum ya wadete abudu obibiri you know we had that tuntum na wasira enku na nenimu ayeko that tuntum that tuntum pa tiania omri wa bomu na abe hunu se bibi wo wiase we who said that to you now, I feel you would be a nice to us. We are intimate, sir. I want to talk to you now. The tear, the tear. And the tear, my friends, the beauty man said, "Your person may be a good one. We need to free the money now. We need to be there. We need to free. We need to be there. Yeah. Now you are a sir. The tear. You have a chain. We need my circle. We need to be a yeah. To to move free. Koko or form. When you peel the layers, we be cut to koko. I don't think we be she she. I na ne huwa e koko koko koko. Ni enti ya yuwa yeye ni sana se. E wianu e ba wa hano. Huh? Anu adene. Iti we e yankata swa. E na yuwa e de ba wa ba. Sebe ya e wianu ba you are not going to get sunburns and skin complications. Mudi ya mungwa into mungwa into. Munti mi mama ni sema. Na zuni na ni push me abele. Na zuni na na mi bebu mwa tayu. God will judge you. God will judge you. God will judge you. Mi chime juni ni mi bebu mwa kosi amenti asi. Seriously, I mean critically seriously. Seriously, I was watching something and I was so sad. Ubi ya wafrenu Kristo ni mi hana fadi. The outfit dressing. You know when we say somebody is a Christian, he has become like Christ. Yeah, he has become like Christ. It me assure us any mafia yeah yeah no generation Christ will be in the Anna. Christ, you have become like Christ. Yeah, I am thinking of certain things that really amaze me. A married woman is a married woman. Your honor is to your husband. May I talk to you? I can't hear you. May I talk to you? Yeah. Your, your, your honor is to your husband and not to yourself and anybody else. When I see Obawa for but she is a married woman. Married woman. We didn't see at the compound house. Now what do we saw pa? Na miko kana abuwe fu. Na awadi ya no enyinya. Ni ya betena asonde mna wabipeja wansa. Usa yeyi. Usa nasi. Unyo mkankai no fefri nyamie niso. Pia ni ya. Unyo mkankai no. Pebe bifako. Reverend and I also will say them. Ozi saafu ono. Ochata ade muno kwe sieda. Ye peja anyo manu watu ni watu fomu. Ni watu sumu. And he has in sin, who muni kuno, who muni pepia. Tiai! Gana ha wabuo ni ha. Wabuo! E ni ha. E ba fula mum penifu, mum penifu, mum ofra. Pem ni mum, be men wanyam foti mi tine tibi soke kansa mfu. Ya, anke ini se pie fri na no. The Bible did not only say obey your parents in the Lord for this is right or honor your father and mother that your days will be prolonged. It also said to the fathers, do not provoke your children. Don't provoke your children. Na peni mu she won't fear when die. Ne would be be wa no dear bo fratem. Na wan also be tenasi mu do be. Na fenya mi bufu ni a temu bemu na moso. It me gana e bufu na mi bufu so. Wunim. I'm telling you, like when my awards got cut off, I'm going from here. Who are you know? Then she moved. Who are he? A probably probably boy. In my abode, he pay one answer. Still, unye he. So what is why he here? It's a lie. If all these politicians are telling you the micro GDP grow, whatever, whatever, I'm telling you, what catch me? Why micro, macro, which one GDP? Find GDP. Tiania! 
Hey! Show God to me kind, kind containers all over the place, table, table, all over the place. And you know, when you are driving to somewhere like Kaswa Tobut, look at the, the number of hawkers. Yeah, me person me who say the leader is good. Uh, I look at the people. Me ba ufi ena me person me who say we ni papa we a Christiania me he wo mawa and ni pa onu amuti fio ni pa esomu fio amu e huru oka amu e water o flowers me he wo ma bra ba me ti me who no ni pa o ye hotels. Our politicians are busy making noise on television and on radio. And these young boys are, are suffering in scorching sun. God will judge that also. God will judge that also. Sometimes when I see things we are commissioning, assembly men should be doing that job. Assembly men should be doing that job. And he move, you know, we are commissioning this. What are you commissioning? Toilet. Really? What is this you are commissioning you or Saudi Arabia? Commissioning. The person in whom Christ is fears God. Osurunyame. He doesn't care whether somebody is monitoring him or not. Osurunyame. Look at the number of people on the ticket of Sikedie. Sikedie. Sick idea. Says, okay, nah, you know, we should be working with it. Home with Digan and Sky, you see, and Kojis can embra. Up to now, we can't get the money. Now we are busy following people, insulting each other. We saw this way, we saw the following nonsense. You see, Kaka came, now you didn't see Munichi. You see, Kaka came, now you didn't see Munichi. And therefore, when you look at a problem, there are five things that comes to mind. You know, if you see any problem anywhere, it, the causes are five. Number one, vision problem. Number two, leadership problem. Number three, attitude problem. Number four, wisdom problem. Yeah. Oh, Ghana problems. Go to the hospitals. Go to hospital. say wisdom in the I met at, you know, uh, Kolebu emergency. I met a, a dustbin. Now, I shed dustbin. No, yeah, yeah, man. In the, in the emergency. Common sense will tell, you know, this thing shouldn't be here. Or somebody's job must be this. Immediately, it is changed. It is replaced nicely. Because you don't have value for human lives. And they are not going to stretch themselves because, you know, they see no fear of God. I'm telling you. It is the truth. Serious! The trumpet is sounding. The alarm is ringing. The bells are ringing. Jesus is coming again. He cometh with his reward to give unto every man according to their works. Ladies and gentlemen, he will judge all of us. The books will be opened. And according to all that is written concerning me and you, he will judge us. Yes! Mwamu free mo boyfriends fi eba no pay. Mwamu ne mo girls in ana apa. Munda! He will judge you. I'm telling you. When you are about to not be a seven years, when you are in one year, God will judge you. I make company for the hour. I will say this a little. God will judge you. Yeah. God will judge that also. As from Krofo Kunu no more there, a problem or Ghana. Some on page you may, girls here by in page you may. Omo pinko e de sira ya hemu. Ema be ema chulo check kesi emo. And that is why people can have you know cars and houses, and then they can boast that I have this, I have that, because onye e jumata. Onye ejuman, usi so onye ejuman da. And ayana, mempani fwa. Hena mi bilie mwa. 
I'm telling our leaders with all due respect from all political divides, all, all of the PPP, 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 whatever the PP. Daniel, God will judge you for all the misplaced funds and misappropriated funds that are going into the pocket of these girls. Yeah, who can boast with the funds of Ghana? You know, and still 63 years in Zuiri fire. Yeah, Tom's can hear my girl. I think it work as he Kokodi. Kone Kodi. And if I for a blind man came here, he's blind. I have two blind people who comes to this church. One will come in the second service. He is a student of, you know, uh, uh, Winneba, whatever. Both of them, they are students of Winneba University. And they come asking for support and help. Now you have to ask my girls. The blind wants to go to school. They deny him. Ladies, can I my girls? We will look for table. Be. I say, sell go your num, ne your num. Mungosu num. Hallelujah. The Bible was saying in Luke chapter number 9 verse number 62. No man putting his hand into a plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of heaven. You know this is very interesting because that word was it here within and so fun to me I'm not done in any way that you know one fact Jesus the other day was talking about a parable and the parable was about wedding garments. There was a wedding banquet and the Bible said that the Lord of the banquet came but there was this gentleman who did not have a wedding dress or a wedding garment. Very soon, they will be calling you old lady. Oh my. Very, very, very soon. So I am standing here talking to you that nobody haven't put his hand to a plow and look at back. We see Christ to Joe. We are but here for four. Yeah, Second Corinthians five seventeen. If a man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are past. All things have become new. If you say you are that kind of person, then he is telling you that no man. Putting his hand to a plow and looking back is worthy. On fata, it's worthy. It's you know those people. The Bible is it's not worthy. So when I look, you know, carefully at Mark chapter fifteen, verse number twenty, you know, he was talking about something very profound. The Bible said, and when they had mocked him, they took up, you know, his purple apparel and put on him. They took up the purple apparel and put on him his own clothes, and they went out to crucify him. But I am looking at the word mocked. Yeah, they, when they had mocked him, go back to that verse, verse twenty. When they had mocked him, Mark the fifteenth chapter, the twentieth verse. I don't want to talk about and I don't want to talk about that. Now I want to talk to you about a hungura ye guru nyame. Yay! A Christo for no one seminar maker. Ye guru nyame. Most of the tongues on the cry of Bobby Bri fake. Tololo talala. We. I'm telling you. A guru nyame. He that sinned intentionally. Hebrews chapter 10, 26. 
But no for the Bobby any home. I Tuesday Bible study. We were studying that particular scripture. On, on Tuesday, on this coming Tuesday, it's going to be Bible study. Let me use opportunity to thank God for the life of my mother, Dr. Christy Dotete, who hosted us in her beautiful house uh, last particular Friday. Uh, at Ada, we had we were with her. We, you know, spent some time with Mama at the beach praying. It was beautiful. We thank God for your life, Mommy. Now I will want to use the opportunity. Look at that scripture. Well, and you know, put it on the screen. Let us work. Yeah, Chris of what year? And I'm born, you know why you're coming. What time? What do you wish you have on Casa? What here? Bottoms. Will you be a car? Man, then I am Chris on if he said, You are not bad, you know, you are great. By the fruit of the tree, we will know what kind of uh, a year, a year, three year, a year. Diana ba, ene ni pati aswari de amia masturbation. Days trumu trumu in church. Hey, the gays I know me gay for no aminimno omu ya aswari kofu. Ni nani mu gay ni biya ni shia ni geto. Gay ni biya kosi aminimno oku aswari. We are mocking the Christ. I'm telling you, most of these boys feel that they have voices. I'm reminding you that our sister Ebony was an enormously gifted young lady. She had an enormous voice. Omo Babeto, you know, they feel like, oh, I, I sing, uh, you know, secular music, but, but I can sing gospel also. Ugru nyameho. Mese! Ugru nyameho. And they take their mic and then, you know, raise their voice in modulation and they feel like, you know, they worship. You think that is worship? Ah, God does not entertain in sin. Me so much about. When you're in pension, you know. I'm telling you, from radio presenters to everybody, Ube yeshi a yeshi. Your one foot cannot be here and another be here. O si o ini ano? I can promise you, emu krobe ye dene edi amau. Lies, exaggeration, and blatant fabrication. Ube o si o ini ano? Kun timi fasi esunengo. When you were coming to church, you were coming to church, you were not talking to each other, and you are sitting here, and you are expecting me to tell you, receive it one, receive it two. When you are a woman, you are a woman. When you are a free fear, you are a woman. You are a woman. You are a woman. You are a woman. And I'm going to end that presentation this morning with Jude chapter 1. I read from verse number 3, verse number 4, 5, and possibly to verse number 7. And this is it. This is what the Bible said. It said, Beloved, I gave all diligence to write unto you concerning our common salvation. It was needful for me to write unto you to exalt you that you should endlessly contend endlessly for the faith. The grace of God, you know, aids you and empowers you and gives you the love and the grace of God, you know, contend for the faith. Let me tell these newly ordained end time prophets. Let me tell all of you this morning before I bring my message to a close. The people want to hear what they want to hear. If you want to please the people, you will not last before God. The people can change the message. Therefore, I'm telling you, preach the word. Preach the word. Open the Bible and preach the word. 
We are not interested in, you know, sugarcoating stuff, and saying things that the Bible is not saying. Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Rebuke, reprove, exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. Preach the word. Whether the people want to hear or not, preach the word. Preach the word, you know, uh, exegetically. Preach the word. Whether they accept it or not, if you preach for the church to collapse, still preach. Preach! Yeah. Preach the word. Declare the mind of God, the heart of God. Speak the content of God, which he has his people, will have his people to hear. Tell the people he is coming again because he is coming again. John chapter 14, verse number 2. Uh, verse number 1, he said, Believe in God and also in me. Many mansions are there in my father's house. Yeah, I, if not, I will not have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. And when I have prepared a place for you, I will come back again. He is coming again. He's coming again. What we need to do is to put our house in order. Put our hearts in order. We want to be Christians. Christopher, not a sorry call for. A Christopher, not a sorry call for. A dear be on one, a good yami anymore. I say, a serve that did a cheer for yami. I'm talking to you. We want to be Christians, not a sorry call for. As I finish my presentation, let me tell you. There are things that are fruits that makes you a Christian, like truth. No kore. She has said you cannot kore. When you remember more, na ye no kwa fo. Yeah, no kore ka. I was see you me cannot kore. Ni patewa no kore. I was see you me can. Especially in the days of uh, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, cannot kore. No kore. Yet the second soon many can no cure. Wouldn't say can no cry ye bet town. Wouldn't say can no cry in Jebe you edi. In Baby Bron why yeah you or my dear friend you may no crack. Ye be mouth transfer. Yeah, mouth transfer I'll be co leave. Ube co leave I may be. When we leave we acquire yeah, maybe. Ube kobi. No cure and sa no cure. I don't hear back. Oh no, I know you're in charge. You're the two in charge. Oh no, I know a check casa a back room ha. You need duty. And you can't do what you want. Oh, casa we need to be on car. Oh, the way you need duty. Stop the car. You will not believe. I don't hear you. Coco check here. It was a Rolls Royce. The duty on a Rolls Royce ranges from eight. 100,000 Ghana cities to 1 million Ghana cities. A chick carno! A film, you have a duty. Boy, you know, chick carno. A chick carno, you have a penny movie, and you will be a link. I don't say, for key, I said, there be my chick carno. This is why you have duty, I'm a GRA. Or buy, you know, not penny moon, I'm a, or the spare key, I took a car, no car. Brand ten years, uh huh. Message a car no. Or buy a na letter than a cheap. Or find a letter so the quack who pen the moon pano. Or buy a near sister and the a lock in the office. No case closed. Me say one more blockade no from entering into pen the moon pani fee in security block this guy. A brand ten de mo mo yes a gun a covid ro ka yes a nukreni o o la ka afule. Yes, you know. Yes, you know. No kureka. Asa. These guys are there. They talk nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. No kureka. No kureka. Nanka me ba ye me kana kureka chira o opa afa. No kureka me ka chira me ebe bwa young ladies, ebe bwa wives. It is going to help husband. It is going to help parents. You are going to be a good parent and all that. Because anything that you do with the virtue of truth, you excel. Even if you are not a Christian, you will excel. May I leave you with Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse number fifteen? Second Thessalonians two fifteen. The Bible said, "Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold 
the traditions which you have been taught. When you know painting, I better mukura, you mudia, yachiramono, kurum. Stand fast holding the traditions which you have been taught. Whether it is in word or it's in epistle. You need to be able to stand for. We are teaching you according to the word of the Lord. Yeah. Would the enemy say, stand fast. No kwafu. Oye no kwafu. Abenebo. The bells are ringing. The bells are ringing. Yesterday there was an incident on the Kaswa Road. A long cruise Prado hit a young man. Yesterday night. Just said to the family, I'm going across the street to buy something. And that's it. The people picked up his ID card and put it on social media and said, do you know this person? Contact family because he has been crushed by a Land Cruiser Prado and they are taking his body to Moch Ribiwo Kaswaho. Yeah. If that person was sitting here, he would take this message serious. You don't know when you are going to meet your maker. So prepare to meet your God. I'm talking to you. You don't know when. Yeah, as an evil net, as fishes are caught in an evil day by an evil net, so man also does not know his time. You don't know when the time comes. So prepare yourself. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. A gentleman is going to testify today in the F5 service. And, uh, he was in church like this and he had a call from his girlfriend. Churchill had a call from his girlfriend. And then he responded to the call. He said, I have cooked. Come and eat. He said, I'm in church. He said, but the food is ready. Hey, we'll be in the one she shall with you. I'm telling you, if it's a wuti way, you're sumum fidi. When you put in a way, but we you fidi. There is a snare that is staring in right in your face. Most of the people you are entrusting your, your confidentiality to are your potential enemies. Very soon, they will put it all out on social media. Yeah. Therefore, be careful. The guy responded to the call, went to the house, ate the lady's food, and also slept with the lady. In the evening, then he said, I'm going home. Took his Bible from church with his Bible to a lady's home, to a lady's something, and then he's going home now. Well, as he got home, he called the lady, no answer. Called again and again and again till morning, don't know answer. So the next day he rushed and said, let me go and go check up on her and see why he's not, she's not picking up my calls. When she got into the house, lots of people, ambulance, police in the house. Why? The lady is dead. Then they pointed, this is the guy who came into her room last night. The police arrested him. What can the woman say now? Okoda in someone four years. Four years in prison for something he didn't do. She you. She And prepare your heart for your God is coming. He will judge you. And this is where, you know, we stand fast because we want to grow in the Lord. We want to mature. We want to put away childish things like pettiness. Pettiness. Ni mbe wale ame ba slami ni me ne ma ni be wale a ya slade me yare woma me slami and ano me pape ye woma mo me nsa ubi it's pettiness it's pettiness imu nyidru imu ha insecurity insecurity mama comfort if for example we say to you mama comfort is here pastor Steve has come. Let Pastor Steve do something. Mama comes up. You know, eh, Pastor Steve, that's all about the Jimmy position. That is insecurity. Who position be on the heart? Me, I'm going to position be on the heart. Me, I'm going to be on the position. Me, I'm going to be on the heart. Yeah, Trump! Insecurity. Childishness. Because some people talk too much. Bible says, "Wakasiya wakana nuntu mumba 
Stand to your feet. Let's clap. Clap your hands for the Lord. Are you clapping? Are you clapping? Praise the name of the Lord. Put back the last scripture and let us, you know, close with that. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the tradition. Put it in a different version and let us follow you. Let's follow you in a different version. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse number 15 is the scripture. And this is what the Bible said. So then, our friends, stand firm and hold those truths which we taught you. A, a different version. Let's work. And in this one, he said, so friends, take, firm, take a firm stand. Feet on the ground and head high. Keep a tight grip on what you were taught, whether in personal conversation or by our letter. The last one, then we can proceed. With, with all these things in mind, dear brothers and sisters, stand firm and keep, dear, keep a strong grip on the teaching. Teaching. And chile chile, how to be a good wife, how to be a good husband, how to be a good leader, and all that kind of thing. How to love God and uh, obey God and stand firm for Him. How to and chile chile. Yin tenke ni mutu for and chile chile. Say a good amen. Your two hands are lifted up.